Hi friends, welcome back. So, question for you. Are Tesla drivers the worst on the road? Well, as it turns out, a couple of Cybertruck drivers thought it might be a good idea to drive and wear a new Apple Vision Pro. Uh, that is the headset by Apple. Uh, you can see the footage here for yourself. Someone going down the highway, uh, presumably 60, 65 miles per hour and uh, then also to <laughs> get pulled over by the police. Uh, moreover, uh, regarding the, um, the Head Vision Pro, we had a Secretary uh, Pete Buttigieg, this is the uh, Secretary of Transportation, uh, put out a reminder. It says, uh, reminder, all advanced driver assistance systems available today require human uh, driver to be in control and fully engaged in the driving task at all times. And uh, again, I pose this question to you. Uh, are Tesla drivers, in fact, the worst drivers on the road? Um, this is a, a study that we actually, or a study, but report that we talked about um, on December, uh, so a couple months ago. Um, and indeed, it says Tesla drivers had the highest accident rate. Uh, BMW drivers had the highest DUI rate. And um, it's interesting because uh, if you want to just hear uh, some comments from people out there, uh, this is Jason W. saying, uh, I am generally hope you get arrested for this. Um, another person was like, you know, that they predicted that someone's going to try it for driving um, about a month ago. Uh, another person is saying, low tier guys saying, think diet, kind of insulting the person's weight. Um, another person saying, Derek said, they should arrest you for spending 3500 on that device alone. Uh, Triple says, uh, you're one of those people that misuses something when it drops and learns a terrible lesson then the manufacturers have to go back and add don'ts be based off your experience. Uh, Technophile writes, maximum fine possible because they know you got the money. <laughs> it's pretty funny actually. And again, I'll pose the question to you, are Tesla drivers the worst drivers on the road? Uh, here's some more uh, comments here. Uh, Amir is saying, congratulations, you're putting the lives of millions of people at risk for online clout. Hey, Elon Musk, can we not promote this? Uh, Winston, sir, uh, do you know why I pulled you over today? <laughs> um, another one. Uh, this is coming from Electric Future. Spend less time in VR, more time at the gym. And um, it's funny because uh, some people are tweeting out uh, the picture of um, from Wally. If you know this movie, uh, essentially predicting the future of the human race. And uh, basically, we're all going to be sitting uh, on our butts, watching video screens, uh, drinking cola, and getting fat. So I, I do warn you because I, I uh, even though you know Wally is a, a movie and stuff like that, I think some movies are, are and, and you know future kind of stories are quite smart because it kind of shows the direction of what our choices make uh, and where we're going. Right. So uh, I don't think that's too far off to be perfectly honest. And when you see the video of the guy doing it. Um, <laughs> you knew someone was going to try this, right? And uh, evidently a couple people did. Um, there's another video too, which I want to show you guys is that this may be uh, the future, um, you know, essentially getting out of your car and uh, <laughs> playing around in the air. Um, we may be seeing this a lot more and I'll be curious um, if you have seen these people doing these kind of things uh, in the Cybertruck, hopping out and playing uh, with the uh, virtual world. Um, here's some more comments uh, making fun of the people. Um, da Watch Plug says, this is what peak male performance looks like. Um, another person, Amir, uh, y'all, uh, can we not promote having careless drivers on the road? This is doing nothing but spreading bad behavior. Uh, John E, uh, the latency on this thing must be insane. Uh, to be able to do this. Um, Dr. Ali Shed says, uh, from the category of, quote, how can we turn a car into yet a deadlier weapon? Um, and, and, and guys, yes, I, I do make jokes about these things, but it, I, I do understand this is dangerous, right? Uh, it's stupid, it's dangerous. And, you know, as we already know, just from just data, uh, Tesla's getting the most accidents over any other brand. And the question is too, as well, if uh, the kind of buyer uh, that's buying cyber trucks if they're going to be the kind of person who is into this stuff getting the latest tech gadget going and seeing how as fast as, as you can go seeing all the limits of, of what you can do with it showing it off to everyone and um, moreover when you got the apple vision pro you combine the two i mean it, it was kind of bound to happen right so um it's interesting uh let's see what else uh, more uh, comments uh, this is jerome saying uh, what, uh, know what an airbag would do to that glass? That's a good point, Jerome, actually. Uh, Ian Miles says, um, hope it was worth the likes, ha, ha, ha. And then Nick uh, Cruz uh, Patane says, 12 um, uh, millisecond uh, latency coming in clutch. Don't do this. And um, 
Yeah, but basically, I, I guess when you're looking through the Vision Pro, right, you're not actually necessarily seeing live on air. Now, some people would make the argument, and there is arguments about you know whether or not 12 milliseconds is enough or not, right? Are you going to see anything uh, fast enough to you know uh, make that a problem? I'll let you decide on, on that, and you guys can let me know if you think it's safe or not. Um, let's see what other people said, and uh, this is uh, coming in from um, Tech uh, Gnostic says, note that the Cybertruck has no driver assistance system active yet. So that's a really important point. And um, it's funny when when uh, when I was reading through these things, I was thinking to myself that um, you won't hear me say this very often, but I surely hope FSD works. <laughs> if if indeed uh, there are going to be people out there that um, are going to be doing the goggles and just not paying attention whatsoever. I mean, given the choice, yes, I hope it works. So I'm not saying it's going to work. I just said, yes, I, I certainly hope it works because um, this is real, right? Uh, some people are, are frankly really, really dangerous. So given the choice, uh, I'm not saying necessarily now that FSD is better than dangerous people, but I'm saying I, I'm hoping that we can find uh, safety solutions no matter what that situation is. And I'm going to go over some more stuff. Um, here's another one. X News Daily says the crazy part is that the Cybertruck doesn't have autopilot yet. So the driver was driving without any ADAS. Happy Fun Time says it's time for full investigation into Tesla's FSD and uh, either certify it or remove it from the market. Wow, that's pretty strong language. Uh, Dr. Paul Sullivan says, how will the government deal with those who put others at risk with behavior like this video? And uh, they're probably gonna have to figure it out. Um, I mean, we really haven't had these kind of problems before uh, to where we had heads. Well, I mean, I guess I, I won't say never because the Google Glass and some of these other things were out there in, in the public, but maybe, you know, maybe now we're just combining it more with the social media craze and, and um, you know, who knows? I was saying, so it's not necessarily entirely new. So other people could have tried these kind of stunts before in the past. So I'll leave it at that. Um, another person says, uh, Tom says, so base the base, so base on the weight of that thing, if the system is working, it's guided missile <laughs> instead of an unguided one. Okay. It's a joke. And um, this is my, my favorite one. Assault clip says pretty, pretty much sums up the average Tesla bro. And uh, again, um, this is the average Tesla bro that we may not see. Now, a couple questions that I had regarding this story. Um, I, I Googled it for myself because I was just kind of curious. Um, the question is, in what states is wearing headphones illegal? Now, I know that headphones uh, is not exactly the same as the Vision Pro, but um, I always thought headphones was basically illegal when driving. I, I had always thought. But th there's some caveats here which I want to go over. So, uh, and, and you guys can let me know in which states, you know, what your laws are if anything this is incorrect so it says here the states that do not allow you to drive with headphones while driving are so again do not allow states that do not allow headphones california louisiana maryland uh, minnesota virginia and washington um, and then this is the interesting one it, it depends what we're talking about here so <laughs> there's caveats here so like for example using one earbud for any purpose uh, using a single earpiece is permitted in colorado Florida, Illinois, New York, Ohio, and Washington, D.C., right? Because the earbud in one ear, right? So you could still hear theoretically. Uh, here's another one. Using one earbud for phone calls is permitted. Um, so that would be uh, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island. Another one. Using one earbud to improve hearing or for GPS, right? That's really quite interesting. Uh, and that's, I guess, that's Alaska. Using one earbud for GPS only. That's Massachusetts. So um you know and the police can't and you guys know it's the police it's hard for them to enforce these kind of things plus earbuds are really small and and they got other things to worry about but yes we do want to worry about safety so it sounds like at least according to this it, it looks like we're, we're probably saying hey over the ear probably not so not so great right um this is also to sue which is kind of interesting it says uh, in what states is wearing headphones legal in some states there are no specific laws against wearing headphones or earbuds while driving. This does not necessarily mean that it's safe or recommended to drive with headphones. Rather, uh, it simply hasn't been explicitly outlawed. The states where it is legal to wear headphones while driving are, this is actually quite a lot, um, Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Idaho, uh, Indiana, Iowa. Actually, it's just a bunch. I, I'm not going to read through all these, but there's a bunch of states where I guess legal um, but, but then it's saying this here, even if it's not illegal, wearing headphones while driving can be a distraction. And, uh, moreover, I was actually looking this up as, as well. Um, what about texting and driving? What about using your phone, et cetera? Uh, depends on the state. Um, for those of you who are watching this channel from other countries, you may have different laws in, in your state. Um, my particular point of view on this stuff. So I'm, I'm kind of more harsher on, on the, um, uh, how can I say, uh, regulations. That's just my personality. I don't want people texting and driving. Now, 
the other people may have different um, opinions on that and you're certainly a right to your opinion and just I just gave you mine um, you can see here the orange one uh, the orange states are like hands-free cell phone use only um, you know purple is uh, texting while driving prohibited for all drivers and then um, I, I was looking at I guess uh, there's a couple states Montana and Missouri it says allow texting while driving if you're at least 21 years um, age and that was um, uh, just a quick Google search so that means most states uh, disallow texting and driving so um, this is an interesting one because we're talking about headphone uh, sorry headsets and uh, we essentially have to come up with new laws and new ways to think about this stuff um, I laugh because it's always something new uh, to talk about with technology and regulations and stuff like that um, love to hear your thoughts on this one and again the question I'll ask you uh, are uh, Tesla drivers the worst drivers on the road so do appreciate your time and I'll catch you in the next video